Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is Sunday, October 8th. It's kind of a cloudy, overcast afternoon. A little bit of rain coming down. And I'm at the Brandywine Creek, and I'm gonna see what we can catch. I have no idea what we're gonna do, but we're gonna give it a try and see, uh, see what's here. Check in with you when we're out fishing. There's some stuff growing on the bottom, which is new. Oh my goodness, there's a fish feeding up there. Chasing bait like crazy. I'm gonna have to get up there and investigate that. There's a fish. Red breast. Red breast. A good one too. Pretty good one. Fatso. Look at this guy. Not a bad fish at all there. He's not huge, but he's not tiny either. He's, uh, he'll go seven inches. Seven and a little bit. All right, buddy. Not a bad fish. Off you go. Oh, there's a hole. Speaking of holes, there's some holes in these spots. It's pretty shallow, and then all of a sudden it's got a little pothole, which I suppose is probably good for a fish. There's a hit, I think. Yeah, thought so. Oh, there's a fish. All right, another red breast. Seems to be doing pretty good work on the red breast so far. All right, buddy. Ready? All right, off you go. But no sign of anything but red breast. Now, there's a rumor that as the weather gets even the slightest bit cool, the smallmouth just head for the hills and become impossible to find or catch, and no one knows where they go. There's a fish. But that's a smallmouth right there. How about that? That's a good sign. Nothing special in terms of size, but I like the fact that there's a smallmouth here. Whoa! Off he went. There's a fish. Red breast. That's kind of what I figured was... Oh, these guys are fighting. That's what I figured was back up in there. Red breast. Nothing special, but... Hey, it's a fish. Ready, buddy? Off you go. Shallow stretch. Whoa! That's a better smallmouth. Right in the shallow stretch. I'm trying to get this guy. Get my hands on him. All right. He's a little next size class up. There he is. Better fish, maybe a cigar. about eight inches. Nothing huge, but might be eight and a half. All right, buddy, you ready? Off you go. Nice, I like it. I like it. There's a fish. Not a big one, but a fish. Smallmouth. Little teeny tiny smallmouth. He didn't have any trouble going in on this two and a half inch gold minnow. And he's not a whole lot bigger. Well, oh, there he goes. Oops, he went right in my net. Sorry, fish buddy. on. Oh, fall fish. All right. Decent little fall fish. Whoa, there he went. That wasn't bad. So as you can see, I have switched up to a, uh, a little bit of different color tail. I got this red tail with kind of a silver fleck, or a red grub with a silver fleck tail. And that fall fish hit that thing right hard. There he is. There he is. Ooh, that's a, another rock bass, but a better one, I think. Yeah, that's what it is. 
bigger, still not gigantic, but bigger rock bass. Let's take a good look at this guy. Really pretty fish. He's got the black, like a little bit of a anal fin there. Nice coloring, red eyes. Off you go, buddy. All right, I am back. Instead of a 1 16th ounce, I now have a 1 32nd ounce, same red tail. One thirty-second ounce cast just fine. And it does have the added merit of being a little bit lighter and, you know, kind of, I can reel it a little slower and it kind of just drifts a little bit, floats a little bit probably a better match for the size of tail we're talking about here. Little like two inch tail maybe. There's a fish. There's a fish. Pretty good red breast. Another one of those seven inch red breasts. Not a not a huge fish, but not a bad fish. Pretty fish. be a better size for some of these smaller fish although I'm not sure that's ideal it might may not there's another one <laughs> rock bass oh yeah rock bass Ooh, barely hooked him yikes barely barely hooked him pretty rock bass though alright ready rock bass off you go maybe the red is a, a factor today Maybe it's the. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, I missed, no, I didn't miss him. I thought I missed him. What do we got here? Just a, just a, that's a stud red breast, actually. That might be the biggest in a while. That is a stud red breast. Beautiful fish, too. My goodness gracious. Look at that fish. Look at the red, the red breast. Wow. I stuck him right in the top of the jaw. Got him. God, that red breast hit it so hard. Boy, he wanted to hurt that thing. Pretty red breast, not a big one, but man, he slammed it. All right, buddy, all right. Off you go. Boy, that's vicious the way they are hitting this thing. Fury with which these oh, red breasts are hitting this lure is unbelievable. There's another one. It's not even big. He's just smashed it. A little guy. Oh, somebody just went and a red, pretty decent looking red breast came up and took a really, you know, like serious look at it and turned away right at the last second. There is. There he is. <laughs> that was awesome. These red breasts are very good red breasts. Oh man, look at that dude. Look at the hump on that guy's head. Wow, that's not a bad fish at all. That's a very good fish and he hit it hard. And I stuck him right in the top of the mouth just like that other fish. Whew, these fish are really slamming it. Seriously fun. Ooh, yeah. 
<laughs> wow, another really good hit from a red breast. That is a pretty decent fish. I wouldn't say it's huge, but it's a decent fish. And he jammed it. Oh man, I love that these guys are hitting it this hard. Good gracious. I mean, jeez. They are crushing it. All right, buddy, off you go. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> Red breast. Another pretty good one, too. Not great, but good. Ooh, I didn't really stick him very well. Oh, these guys have some tough mouths, these red breasts. Pretty fish. That bottom lip is really some kind of tough. All right, buddy. Off you go. Boil and felt something and set the hook, but I think it was a stick more than a fish. I think the boil was when my lure hit the stick. Caused the end of the stick to move. It looked like a fish boiling. There's a fish. A little bit more modest sized red breast. Ooh, I barely hooked him. Oh my goodness. Barely. Just ever so slightly in the corner of the mouth. There he goes. I don't know if it's a matter, and I actually I was going to say, I don't know if it's a matter of just wait until the fish start feeding or, or it's a matter of finding the right lure. But I have to say that, um, you know, I've been out here, I come out here occasionally, I start with the right thing, but it just seems, it seems like it's a different lure virtually every time I'm out here. Whether, you know, it's some days it's a spinner, some days it's a, a curl tail grub. Some days it's a, a you know, a, a lot of times it's a trout slayer. And I caught some fish on the trout slayer earlier. By all, oh, there's a fish. That's a good fish too, I think. Not a bad one at least. Oh yeah, that's a decent fish. Another red breast. Decent one. Um, and you just, it's, you know, it seems like I come out here, I fish for a while, I've, I've tried different stuff catch some fish and then you know it seems like then I find a lure and it goes from you know getting some action to bang 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 like every cast every other cast fish are up on that lure and it's just finding what that lure is and it just takes a you know it seems like it's the same thing oh good gracious that's an even bigger red breast I mean these are like boss oh that's what might be the biggest one of the day holy moly Come on, stay on there so I can get you a good look at him. Whew. That's a nice one. Right in the bottom of the jaw. Might need no, no, no. Ready? Alright. Fish on, folks. I don't know what it is. Another red breast? Another red breast. That's a little more typical sized one. Still a good one. Ouch. All right, buddy, calm down. Still a pretty good one, but not quite the size of those other few I've been, I was hooking there in that little stretch there. All right, see you later, buddy. So evening recap, I did my typical thing and managed to run out of batteries out there. Um, fished for another 45 minutes or, or so after the camera uh, crumped out. Caught, uh, did get a large mouth, so I added that to the species list. Also got a hybrid bluegill uh, pumpkin seed, so that added to the species list. I think that gives me six species uh, for the evening. Caught uh, another fall fish and some other red breasts, and uh, it was a really beautiful evening on the water. So uh, went from a mystery to the start to a great finish.